What's up YouTube? You're watching Cetophobia. Today I'm going to show you how to water and feed your spiderlings. This one is yet to, because he's got seven legs instead of eight. Anyway, what it is is you get problems with, uh, I use tissues, you get mold up in it. What I'm going to do right now is that we're going to grab this one, the bad one, and throw that out. So, either way, what you got to do is we got to replace uh, the tissue, make sure it's saturated, and uh, feed them two or three uh, flightless fruit flies. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay. First off, we got your long, these are Zoomed, I believe, your long forceps to just pull them out so you don't got to mess with them because they, I guess they can bite, they're eating stuff. The other thing is that, right here, this is how I water mine. It's a shot glass with a syringe without a needle. It's just got some, some water in that. You just drip a couple of them on it until it's saturated. So, either way. And then the reason the shot glass is just so you can set easy access. I like to use paper towels because they hold a little bit more, but sometimes they got color on them. So what you're going to do is fold it like this. You're going to drip a couple of drips of that water on it to make it stick together and make it kind of heavy. And then you're going to put it down on top of your tarantula or spiderling. And then go ahead and saturate a little bit more, a little bit till it's going over into the substrate. Another thing is that do it white color out if you have little uh, designs like that because whenever you see any yellow discoloration, it's time to switch them. It's bacteria. And uh, you need as many strips as you got. It's nice to have everything lined out. Other thing is these frightless fruit flies are, they're basically fleas with wings. And um, the thing about that is they jump super high and then glide any and everywhere and they all come out the top and as you can see there's like you know hundreds of them up in there you know moving around and the thing about it is, is that I've messed up a lot at trying to kill them and all that but I've developed a way to get them out pretty easy what you do is you take a thigh high pair of pantyhose you get the um the uh hair tie stretch it over like that so they don't get in your mouth you get a hair tie and I leave the rest so that I can plug it up now what you do is you suck them up and then plug it up like that. Another thing that's pretty cool is after you plug it like that so where they can't get out, you could thump it to get them to fall to the side with the net and then once you get your thing open you could tap it until two or three are in it and then thump it to get them to go back down so you don't end up messing up. So either way what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, uh, we got a set up to go ahead and show you this is my, like, you know, my station in the layer. So this is basically the normal, you know, feed and water the kids day. So basically I'm going to open up the top. And then I'm going to look down in there and I'm going to smell for mold. I don't smell any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit him back down. Another thing is that with these, I leave it on halfway because they are pretty, they get around, you know. So either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab me a strip and I'll fold it in half like I told you. And then since he's pretty docile and chilled out, I'm going to go ahead and set it down. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to start to see it. You can even rub it like that and it'll get it to stick together. And then what I do is kind of set it halfway on the side and halfway on the substrate because I like to use this kind of a hide and then just drip more until it's, like, you know, it looks like a wet sponge is fully saturated. Even the puddle is nice. You put that there. Okay. So what you're going to do is put your top halfway all the way on for right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get these bastardy fruit flies. Okay, what you do first is they're at the top at this little vent thing. First off, you're going to beat it down. Where you can actually see them crawling back up. And what it is, you can't see them on the vent no more. Knock them all back down, and then I'm going to show you how this is done. It's a little tricky, and I would still recommend uh, biting your teeth down when you suck through it, because I would I wouldn't want one of these in my in my lungs or airway or anything. So anyway, we're going to have to do this kind of quick. So here it goes. Here's the 
even that, they're all over the place. And what you do is you take this, you ball it up, and then you just stuff it in there the best that you can because you're going to be working fast. So you even see, even with this, it, and you can see them up in there. Got, got a couple. Got enough to get the job done. See the way we're going to sit that right there. We're going to make sure this lid is on. And you've seen like quite a few escape. There's, there's a couple roaming around. They'll die. Anyway, I'm going to put this back over here. What we're going to do, I'm going to pull this back out. We're going to pop the lid halfway. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this technique about getting these. Okay, you see how they're all over the place? They're all up in, in like right here at the top. What you do, you look, you just dump, they all fall down. Make sure they're all down. What you do is you undo that, put your finger over that. Make sure you got the top off, and then if you look, when you tap, only a couple will make it ahead of the rat race. So, we got two live ones in there. I've seen them moving around, and I would recommend putting about two or three in there. And as you've seen, I flicked it to make them go back down. Stuff it back in there so they can't get out. Put it back over there. And there you go, there's a fed and watered sling. And he actually already has one in his mouth. You can't see it with this camera, folks, but he actually already has one in his mouth and he's watered, so. And that's the end day. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, so that's how you do it, and um, another thing, I got mine set up with an incubator, just so that if I forget to do this, they don't run out of moisture and dry up. All it is is, Thermomate filled up with water on the bottom, set this in so it kind of, like, you know, floats just a little bit, put a paper towel on the bottom of this, you missed it, and it's an infinite incubator, and um, the tops are over here. And then once you have them all put away nice and neat, what you do is you put this top on. And see the moisture the moisture that's coming out of the tissue goes back down into the water and the water seeps back into this because this is ventilated as you can see right here. And then you just put this top on. It does the same principle. So, either way, that's the way you do it right there. And I got uh, 13 more to go. Thanks for watching. Love you, too.